The precision boil law apparatus allows students to directly measure and verify Boyle's law for pressure and volume. Unlike other methods that use a syringe, which may create results that are all over the place, this device can give you very accurate results verifying Boyle's law. The vent cap at the top allows you to either lock the air in the tube or release it to ambient air pressure. The glass tube inside has an outer protective plastic tube, so if anything does break, it's all self-contained. There's over 60 centimeters of measurable scale. You have markers that are movable, so you, you wish to set a start and an end point on an experiment. These markers make it much easier for students to see. The kit comes with a hand pump. It also has an oil reservoir to hold the hydraulic oil, which is something you can get easily at any automotive store. It has an absolute pressure gauge, which goes from zero to 500 kilopascals. The top of the oil reservoir has a valve that is a bicycle valve with a spring-loaded pin, so the air can go in, but it will not come out. The top valve allows you to open up and allow the air pressure to become equal to the ambient pressure, or you can lock it in place, which is what you need to do when you apply the air pump to this apparatus. Then there's the oil cap. You unscrew this, place in your hydraulic oil, and then place this back on nice and tight. I connected the hand pump to the valve on the back, and I locked this open to keep it on the valve. When I pump, it goes up. However, if you let go of the pump and you see the level going down, you don't have a secure connection here. You want to take this off and readjust it. If you push down on the hand pump and you see zero change in the pressure, then you have to put the valve on a little bit more. We're ready to do the experiments now. So we're going to do one pump, which is going to give us about 50 kilopascals of pressure increase. And a good experiment is going to have that level stay put. The oil level will stay stationary. Just repeat this every 50 kilopascals, record the height for each pressure. For best results, I would recommend using 20 kilopascals and recording the height that each additional 20 kilopascal gives you. And then we're going to go into what you can do with that in a graph. The core results you want to see are if you increase the pressure, the volume decreases, which is an inverse relationship. To make the graphical analysis easier, what you want to do is have the pressure be on the horizontal axis and have the inverse of the volume be on the vertical axis. This will give you a very nice nice straight line with a correlation of almost one. If you're trying to get the idea of pressure versus volume across to your students, some of the traditional models are not very convincing. This apparatus is very precise and gives you very repeatable and accurate results. The design of the apparatus takes into account safety as well as usability. The large scale and easy to read pressure gauge make collecting data very easy and it makes the student's ability to understand the concept between pressure and volume